Hey guys, I'm Emily Millsaps and welcome to Posey Lane. Today, we're going to be painting pouches with fabric paint. When I was a kid, I loved painting and using fabric paint. And one time I got all this stuff out to paint when my family was all gone. And I got an old pillowcase. I just painted the whole thing with puffy paint. I used stencils and both sides were all painted. And I got it ready because I wanted to have a really cool pillowcase for slumber parties. But the funny part was like, it was totally uncomfortable. It was like bumpy and hard from where like the puppy paint had dried. So it wasn't even comfortable to sleep on. And eventually I was actually entered it into like an art contest and won like third place or something like that. I don't even remember because it was so long ago, but I've just always loved painting and using fabric paint. It's just something about it, it's like therapeutic. And I've always loved crafting, like on vacation as a little kid, we'd always go to the same spot that had a really cool craft store. So to me, like part of vacation was you go to the craft store and get a kit. One time they didn't take me to the craft store. I was like five years old or something. And I just started to cry on the last day of vacation and no one knew why I was crying. And it was like, I need a craft, I need a craft. And they had to go rush, take me like the last day to go buy something so that I could make something. It was just, like, okay, now I'm actually on vacation. If we're going to be painting fabric, we need some fabric to paint on. So I went to a couple of big box stores trying to find something and really there wasn't a very good selection at all. So I decided that I would try the craft store. So I headed to Hobby Lobby. When I went, there was a whole area, like a whole entire end of an aisle of all these different canvas totes and pouches that I could paint. I went with the pouches because I could zip them up and use them for organizing and stuff. So after I painted on them, I had like a practical purpose for them. Most of the supplies I already had on hand. I did have to go buy some clean sponges that hadn't been used already. I got two of them so that if I messed up at all, I had an extra just in case, because really you only need one. We're painting fabric, so obviously we need fabric paint. I have a bunch of fun colors here, so I have lots of options. We're cutting the sponges into stamps, so we'll need some scissors to cut them up. I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to paint, so I have several different size paintbrushes for what I have in mind. I need something to put paint on, so I grabbed a couple of paper plates I had in my pantry, but you can use anything that you have on hand that you can squirt paint on. I always make a mess, so it's good to always have paper towels around just in case for an emergency. Let's get started painting. I ended up buying three pouches, and I have a different design in mind for each one. I put cardboard inside the pouches just to be careful, um, just in case like the paint might try to bleed through to the other side. I drew out what I wanted to do and what I kind of already had in mind so that when I went to paint it, I already knew and wasn't making mistakes on the actual pouch itself. And so I just kept it to the side as a reference while I was painting. The strokes I made needed to be wider so I used a wider brush so that it was easier to get those wider strokes I needed. If you notice, I have several lines that are repeating and I kind of wanted to use something that was a repeating pattern because I thought it would look better to the eye and be more pleasing. My idea for the pouches was kind of a boho theme. I don't know if you've ever done one of those aesthetic quizzes, but my daughter loves them and I've done like five of them with her. And every time I usually get boho as my results. So I think it's the geometric designs and the pattern and the lines that like appeal to me about like boho design. I 
I decided to use only black paint for this one. I thought that it would look really good like to have the dark black paint contrasting with the lighter color of the canvas pouch. It kind of reminds me of some really cute pillows that I saw the other day at a home decor store. So I really liked kind of mimicking that. The other thing is I really liked how only using one color, I didn't have to worry about trying to make the colors match or worrying about if the colors were gonna be competing with each other for the attention. Look how cute this pouch turned out. It looks so much like the design that I had sketched. I loved having that kind of to the side the whole time. It kind of gave me like this confidence where I didn't have to worry about if I was gonna screw up because I could just keep looking over and knowing I was doing the right thing. The other day I was going on a walk and I noticed these really pretty purple flowers and it kind of gave me the inspiration for this pouch. Don't be intimidated when you hear that we're painting flowers. I have simple strokes that are really easy to do, so I know that you can do it and it's gonna look great. I found some green and purple paint that matched the flowers perfectly. For the stems, you're gonna to wanna to start at the edge and when you paint them, if you think about stems in real life, they're not perfectly straight, so kind of paint them bent like they would be in real life. For the flowers, we're going to be using purple paint and we're gonna be making dots and just varying different sizes kind of randomly around in a group and we'll make a really pretty purple bloom. painted longer leaves that remind me of a daylily and when you do it you want them to just kind of look like they're coming out the stem. I like how even though there's only like two flowers it looks really full on the pouch and fills it out. I like how it turned out. For our last pouch I thought it would be fun to do some old school stamping. I don't know if like you did this as a kid, but I remember in art class getting like potatoes and cutting them out to make stamps and using sponges to make stamps. So that's why I thought it'd be fun just to get some you know grocery store sponges and cut them up. So the first thing we need to do is cut our stamps. And I don't really have a plan for this. My plan is just to cut some like uh, like triangles out and then make it look cool. So for the first thing, I think it'd be cool to do something in like the corners. So I'm just gonna use that to like do something. Yeah, that would look cool. So I got that one. See how these are perfect for triangles? I'm just gonna keep using that. that I can just dab with. All right, so I think I'm ready now to paint. For the paint, I thought it would just be pretty to use one color. Just keep it simple, then I didn't have to make as many stamps. And so I think this blue would be really pretty. I like the way it looks. And to apply the paint, there's kind of like two ways you can do it. You could get a brush and paint it. But what I noticed is it's literally a sponge. It, it was slowly soaking it up. See, you can kind of do that. It just starts to soak it up. So there's, then it, there's not enough to transfer the paint onto the canvas. So what I'm going to do, just kind of make like a puddle and dab it in there. Make sure it's all good and covered. Just gonna do one in each corner. I say I'm always messy if 
I'm not messy and I've not made a craft. So let me get my hands so I don't get it all over the pouch. I love the way that like a stamp kind of shows imperfections. It just has this like certain look and certain feel to it. Do things that are symmetrical looks good. So what I'm doing on the top, or what I've done on the bottom, I'm doing on the top. Like I said, I'm just winging it. messy but it's cute and fun I have fun doing it let's look at how the pouches turn out and see some of the things that I put in them so this one that I did put some makeup in it and I love how simple these strokes are and how it's just kind of like a pattern and it just came out really cute and this one I love the flowers on it I'm planning to use this in my purse I have like a huge purse and I'm planning to put receipts in it. It'll be great to keep, so that they don't go everywhere and keep it organized. And then this one, I love the blue and how it turned out. It's so bright and so vibrant. I guess I can get that in the shot. And I'm planning to just use this for like office supplies, like my pencils and pens and things like that. I just love how all of them came out. 